people. But that was a really location work in a theater, wasn't it? That wasn't studio work, was it? No, that was completely in the field. Yeah. So I'm, th I'm thinking more of a Judge Judy kind of stuff where you have an audience. What are the problems with audiences in a studio? Actually, uh, I don't, we don't have many problems because they're paid audience. I don't know if anyone knows that. The secret's out. Um, it's paid audience. <laughs> and if, you, if you watch close enough, you'll notice that this lovely lady here would be sitting in that seat later on in the day for another one of the cases. Because we shoot eight cases a day. So we just move the audience around. Um, and, you know, people that want to make it in the business kind of do extra work and pay them 25 bucks to sit there for eight hours. Um, any so extras here? Do we have, we have any extras? Do they fall asleep? <laughs> Is that on purpose? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people fall asleep. Oh, my gosh. I have. That's on Judge Joe. We have that problem. No, Judge Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing about that, I'll just add this about Judge Joe. Because it's the same production company. So another huge benefit <laughs> of living on a soundstage is we just swing the gear over. So stage five is literally Judge Judy and Judge Joe's set. Two separate oh, sets, wow. sort of like the jail set and the hospital set. And all the same gear. The studio worked out a sweet deal, which you wouldn't get if you were shooting at a real courthouse um, and had to move and do company yep. moves and yeah. stuff like that. We literally just, Judge Judy will shoot Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, flies back to New York. We swing cameras around the following week. Judge Joe will shoot. Um, two days, and then we just keep doing that for three months. And they shoot about six to eight episodes a day, um, court cases. So that saves the production company a 